Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give your anything for his intimacy with God. I'd like you to see the two poles of prosperity. The two poles of prosperity. The first pole of prosperity is what we are reading about in the life of Joseph right now. And that first pole of prosperity is that season where you are laboring to keep in speed with God, laboring to keep in alignment with God when there seem to be no obvious financial or material benefit. Are you there? That's one pole. We have the start pole of prosperity and we have the north pole of prosperity. So the south pole of prosperity is that season in which even though you are in alignment with God, there seems to be no change in your material status. There is no change in your financial status. That is the side of the coin that we are studying right now. Notice that the people that put um, Joseph in prison, I'd like you to take a look again. Take a look. What exactly was the crime he committed for which he was being thrown into prison? And according to the witness of Potiphar's wife, his crime was that he committed adultery with the wife of his master. And he was a simple slave, so if you had a slave, and the slave is reported to have committed adultery with your wife, do you think that the punishment you will give the slave is imprisonment? Think about it. So the first evidence of the presence in this third pole of, of, of prosperity. Are you there? You are not following. This is the third pole of prosperity. The first evidence in the life of Joseph that God was with him was that in a situation where he was supposed to be executed, he was given a prison sentence. Now, when you are in the start pole of prosperity, you need to be very diligent to be able to identify the workings of the hand of God. Because there's a possibility that you may not see what God is doing around your life. This guy was supposed to be due for execution. His head was supposed to be hanging on a pike. But instead of that kind of public execution to make him an example to all other slaves in the realm, he was given a prison sentence. The reason was because God was with him. And when he went to prison, he went to prison with God. Of all the numerous criminals that were detained in that hold, the guy showed up there and suddenly the politics in the prison began to change and eventually all the prisoners were kept under his custody. So he was operating like, what do they call them these days? He was an assistant prison warden. That means his, his place of abode was no longer the general prison cabin. Even in the prison, they are, <laughs> they are possible. There are possible arrangements that is just that you are not aware. But there are possible arrangements that can be made in the prison that prison will no longer look like prison. And the reason why he was given this treatment was because God was with him. That is to say that a man that God is with, if you, if you put him in a situation expecting that the full gravity of the intention of your bitterness will, will, will find its cause in his life, you are mistaken. God will create a buffer in the environment such that in that terrible situation that you put him, he will begin to enjoy life. Meanwhile, there was no mention of anything financial or material in the context of our study, but one very radical thing that he did 
was that he would not allow anything tamper with his relationship with God. Hallelujah. Subsequently, as we come to realize in our study, then he, he found a gift on his life. That was the God with him. Because when God was translating him from the sad pole of prosperity, which is that time when you see interventions in your life, but the interventions do not translate to material or financial blessings. If God, when God wanted to translate him from the start pole of prosperity, that is sitting on your inside. If you know how much that stream can be a blessing to humankind, if you know that God is able to make the world scarce of the commodity he has given you through grace in abundance, just so that he could set up your pedestal and cause your face to shine. God can be responsible for creating problems, creating scarcities in the area of that abundant grace that he has made available to you. So if you have not yet been able to master your handle with God in the season of the South Pole of prosperity, it will be difficult for you to come to that point where God allows a noticeable and a notable tributary of grace to stand out in your life. 